Oh, Scorpio. We're doing a quickie today. I love you guys. But I was trying to uh, also share my time with a couple other signs and get some more readings out. So while I had time today, I decided, you know what, let's do some quickies. Quiggies. Who doesn't like what Scorpio doesn't like a quickie, right? Uh, spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Um, Archangel Michael, look, I call on you all the time. Here you are. I came out for you guys, right? So he likes to show up for my Scorpio family. Um, please protect us from anybody sending us any negative energy our way. And um, send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. Okay. So Scorpio, I have you, I feel like you're really, look, the sun's starting to shine as I'm talking about you. I love it. It's this energy of feeling, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good, right? This energy of being focused on diet, exercise, excuse me, health. Okay. Being conscious about your mind, body, and soul, right? Taking care of yourself and um, all the things that you need to do, right? In order to live a healthy life. Um, I do feel like there is a change with a career or a new career path um, that's very positive or focusing on something that within your career that's going to bring you kind of or push you in a new direction, okay? For some of you, okay, this is, I got um, Archangel Michael, right? Um, I am with you giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. I love that, Scorpio. So again, don't forget to call on Archangel Michael if you need him, but this is again, moving into the energy. This new path, this new energy is your divine life purpose or you're moving into it with that coming out today. Before I, don't, uh, before I forget, thank you to all of, the, of those that have donated um, or sent me love and support. You know, I went through chemotherapy for six months. I had two surgeries. I'm eight weeks out now of my last surgery, still healing and out of work, um, a single mother. So if you'd like to donate that information is in the description box below. And I thank you to anybody that has, it means a lot to us and has helped us out a great deal. All right. Some of you might be getting a house. We've got official person in the house. So if you've been thinking about buying a house or something, there has something to do with a house energy and an official person. Okay, so there is something here that has to do with, I feel like I felt like a purchase, a home purchase for some of you. Okay, if you've been thinking about that, maybe the wheels are turning, um, you know, or you're thinking about looking, looking into buying a house. I don't know, maybe that's your sign here. Okay, so. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, with passion. So again, this is a very passionate energy. Now, with if this is a person, enjoy it, Scorpio. If it's not, just get in, you know, we're very super, super, super passionate uh, people, right? So again, this is a uh, wonderful Scorpio energy, and I feel like it's the best for us to be in. We accomplish so much in this energy. Um, let's go ahead and pull some cards for you. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. I do feel like there has been a little bit. I just saw the devil fighting the devil in some way, shape, or form, whether it is like, as soon as I'm talking about it. Um, and it can also represent passionate energy, but fighting the devil, toxic behaviors, understanding or drinking too much, smoking too much, doing whatever, too much, right? Sex too much or sexual addictions, um, you know, trying to understand this is walking away so for some of you it's understanding that this toxic shit ain't getting you nowhere right so let's see what's going on with my Scorpios damn somebody's had a tower okay let's start over all right tower decisions to make all right what's on what's going on with Scorpio what do we do after the tower? Start over, okay? Clarity, truth. The truth has come out about something here. The Knight of Bronze, there's the player. This player's been showing up a lot in my readings, okay? This person likes to drink. Okay, and it's, you've had to separate yourself. So we've got the love coming out that's been kind of shitty. Having to separate yourself from somebody that's been a bit of a player. With this Five of uh, Pentacles energy, it's like, I regret wasting my time. Here, this person likes to drink too much, party too much, and then they could be addicted to porn, sex, whatever. It's just this energy. This person's not trying to commit. 
right? Clarity of the truth. That's come out for some of you. Let's see, what else do we have? Somebody blowing the horn on it, basically. This is a, a wake up call, letting go of old stories. And for some of you, it's understanding like, hey, why am I attracting the same person? Why am I attracting the same energy? I need to do something different, right? In order to attract something different. So that's where this being focused on diet, exercise, prayer, meditation, you know, all raising your vibration in a way or making sure you're healing so you're not attracting the same thing just in a prettier package or you guys, you guys feel me, right? So let's see. Yeah, because you, you end up in this, in this, in this uh, emotional regret. All right. What do we have coming towards my Scorpios? Oh my God, this player won't stop though. For some of you, this person is very persistent or has been. All right, go away. <laughs> go away. All right, so ooh. you do have um, the energy here of someone watching you here. Okay, Scorpio. Um, you do have the energy of somebody watching you and regretting something as well. Two different energies, okay? You got somebody here that's watching you and then you've got somebody here that um, you've either planted some seeds with in the past here with the lovers right next to it that you do uh, already have some or will have like a strong emotional soulmate connection to. Lovers energy, Gemini energy, a star card, Aquarius energy, and then the Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, this is the energy watching you, air sign energy. Um, somebody regrets here. They know you are loving, supportive energy, um, kind of doing you dirty if they did. But we've got again here with you in a new path, it's kind of like, well, you missed your shot, bro. All right, um, let's see. Maybe this person isn't used to people doing that, right? Uh, 55 though, major changes. So what is this Knight of Swords energy? Yeah, you're in your confidence right now, in your power, divine power, understanding your worth. Um, even if you're a masculine, right? This is, can be either way, right? I am a feminine with a lot of masculine in my chart. So, you know, male or female. Okay, Knight of Swords energy, Ten of Wands. So somebody feels... This person can get you out of their head. Whoever's watching you, air sign, energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, this person could be currently involved with somebody or not. I don't know. Or is just juggling a lot financially right now. Um, And for some of you, this person was dealing with a queen of pentacles energy and you ended it here, okay? This person is still watching you. What is this knight of swords energy? Seven of wands, okay? You're really protecting your energy. I feel like it kind of feels like more than one energy here, okay? There's kind of like this energy of all eyes on you. You're feeling very confident. You're protecting your energy and your vibe. And it's actually also attracting other suitors. And I feel like it's attracting whoever is kind of giving you the shaft here as well, Scorpio, okay? So it's like everybody's looking. Everybody's looking over here at Scorpio. <laughs> um, who's the Seven of Pentacles energy? Here's the Five of Pentacles again. Um, three of Swords. So we do have an energy here that you kind of regret. Uh, yeah, he's watching other people look at you. Or he, she, right? They regret putting you in a third party situation. Maybe they still have some kind of feelings for you. What is this lover's energy? You're making changes, and here's the seven of wands again, and protecting your energy, okay? To move towards a situation where you feel like it's a mutual attraction, they're mutual feelings, soulmate energy has a potential for long-term energy, or long-term uh, energy, has the potential for a long-term connection, okay? 
with the star card here, Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, you are making these changes. You are moving. You've already moved in this direction, right? It's like, I'm in my power. I know what I'm worth. Okay. If, if it isn't equal, if there isn't a, you know, um, a mutual attraction here, a mutual desire to, you know, even be truthful with each other here. You don't want it. The full in reverse. Okay. So what is the star card? You've got a situation coming out of conflict now here with the star card. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy could be younger. Uh, a younger energy doesn't necessarily have to be. There could be an age difference as well. But um, also Aquarius energy, but the energy of kind of a cop here. Somebody coming towards you, Scorpio. I feel like this is one of the people here watching you coming towards you with a, a law, an offer. It's not an offer of marriage. It's not a, you know, it's not a commitment. It's a, hey, Scorpio, I kind of feel like you know, I'd like to see where things go with us. Okay. Um, let's go out on a date. Let's see what's going on. What happens? I do. Ha it's not maybe it's not a one night stand energy. It's the energy of let's, let's try to see each other. Let's try to see how that works because I feel like it would work or I feel like there's an emotional tie here. Okay. Or connection. Okay. What is this ace of pentacles? Okay, there's something new here. Okay, again, with money and your and it's it's building something new here. Um, again, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a new past, but it's also your gift. Whatever you're good at, you're manifesting power here or bringing a lot of power into uh, whatever this financial energy is. And you're going to be very comfortable. Okay, I like seeing that. That's being able to enjoy your life. That's being able to spend money if you'd like to, go on vacation if you'd like to, you know, not feeling like you're living in this lack energy or paycheck to paycheck. Okay, this is what you have and again, stepping away from energies that are negative and toxic will also help you get into this energy, Scorpio. A lot of people don't realize that, right? So with the Queen of Cups energy, and then this is you kind of looking at it all, because this is looking at all this in this direction, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, being very emotionally balanced, understanding what you have to offer, right? And, and that you're happy, right? You're going to be happy moving forward, right? What you have, you can, you know, what you have to offer is something that would make someone happy, right? And understanding that, you know, your value, your worth, and being mature enough to accept it from someone else, right? So again, with the sun card here, I feel like, or move on and, and try again, right? Whatever. Um, but I do feel like, <laughs> It's being happy about the choice that you've made, whether it's somebody now that you're currently involved with or you will be in the future, sun energy, Leo energy. This is what I like to say, my swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine card, right? So with this um, energy, Scorpio, um, the, um, the sun card is just being, you know, overall very happy, okay? Um, with everything right? It's good health, feeling carefree, feeling beautiful, feeling um, inspired, um, embracing your power and not being afraid to get into a situation where you can be, you know, like I say, um, a naked physically and emotionally, right? Not where you have to suppress your feelings and not be who you want to be or be in an intimate relationship if that's what you want, right? So this is being happy about your decision and moving forward, things working out. Okay, so let's see what message do we have with my angel, spirit angels, and guys. What message do we have? Let's do one angel card. The star. Oh, I love it. Prayers being answered. Okay. And this is also for some of you, if you're, it does say at the bottom protects against um, attacks in the court. So for some of you that are going through legal situations right now, things are going to be working out in your favor and you are being protected as well. And your angels want you to know that as well. Excuse me, but this is also Aquarius energy, but feeling like 
you know, there's hope. Okay, feeling like your prayers are being answered. You're moving in the right direction. It's another sign like, yes, Scorpio, this is the direction we want you to be going in, right? Maybe this is why things end up working out for you, okay? Stepping away from toxic negative energies. I love you guys. I hope this message was helpful for someone. Again, if you'd like to donate, that information is in the description box below. Bye.